Hi everybody, welcome back and welcome to take two of this video, hopefully one where I remember to click uh, on the screen to show the desktop uh, and don't just talk into the camera for 15, 20 minutes. So this video is gonna be uh, on installing an operating system on a Raspberry Pi. And uh, the operating system that I'm gonna be installing is something called Open Plotter. Uh, and the reason for that is this is a sort of doing double duty as a video. So um, for most of you guys who are watching this video, you probably will be aware that I have a IT uh, technology career um, YouTube channel where I talk about getting into the industry, good habits, um, technologies that are of interest, um, and just general kind of IT careerist uh, stuff as, long as, as well as DevOps and programming and things like that. So it's a bit of a mishmash. And um, so this is gonna serve as a video for that channel. Uh, but it's also going to serve as a video that's going to be probably a little bit more geared towards uh, another channel that I just set up. Now that channel, I'm not going to be putting videos up very regularly, um, but it came about as part of finding out that a lot of people in the sailing community, and I, and I tend to sail uh, as, a, uh, as a hobby, um, a lot of people in the sailing community were not aware of Raspberry Pis uh, and the open plotter uh, Linux distribution, which is set up as a uh, chart plotter that runs OpenCPN uh, and a bunch of other utilities that are really neat, and it's all very free. And, um, you know, if you look at most marine hardware, it costs a huge amount of money. And, you know, there's there's some really nice things that you can go do, uh, which I'll talk about in some of the subsequent videos, and there's another video on that channel. I'll link to that channel below in the, um, the description here. Um, where it's just good for safety stuff. Um, there's something called AIS where you can see other ships uh, on the, the ocean and for safety purposes, it's just really, really useful. And it turns out that a lot of people aren't aware of the Raspberry Pi. So what I wanted to go do is do a video on how to just install the operating system. So really just step one, right? We're not even gonna get into setting anything up. We're not gonna get in the operating system itself. We're gonna break this down into very bite-sized pieces, um, probably mainly on that other channel. But being that we just came out with the, not we, but they came out with a new version of the Raspberry Pi, the Raspberry Pi 4 uh, B Plus uh, a couple days ago, um, I thought it was uh, apropos to do uh, a video on how to go install the OS because a lot of you guys might be getting a new Raspberry Pi 4 um, or you might be getting a Raspberry Pi 3 like the one that I have here. Uh, now, um, I'm probably going to try out using the new Raspberry Pi version 4. I already have that on order uh, for open um, plotter. But I think this is probably a better bet. Raspberry Pi th version 3 is going to be slower, um, but it's also going to be more efficient in terms of power. And on a boat, that means uh, that's a really important thing. So anyway, uh, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and look at getting this installed and, and kind of going through the process and what tools you need and all that kind of stuff. So. Basically, um, we're not going to be looking at the Raspberry Pi itself very much during this, this video. So what's going to happen is, is at the very end of the video, uh, I'm going to go take out the, the Raspberry Pi itself. I'm going to go flip it over. Uh, and then on the back of it, you can see here that there is this little silver uh, micro SD card slot. And what I'm going to go do is I'm going to take a micro SD card that we're going to have the operating installed on. And I'm just going to pop that in to the Raspberry Pi the right way. <laughs> um, there's one way up, right? That's it. So pop that in there. And basically that's where the video is going to end uh, because at that point we're basically done and then we're going to go move on to boot up and kind of go through the initial setup in probably the next video. So we need to get to that point. So in order to go do this, we need to have a computer that we can go use to do the install, right? So um, very simple. You need to get a micro SD card uh, most of the time they come with a full-size SD card um, sort of thingamajiggy that you can slide the SD card in. Um, and then it, you can use the full-size SD card interface um, and just have the, the micro SD card on it. Right? So we'll use that to do the install. And the reason why that's handy is I bang my laptop into the table. Uh, is because a lot of people will have laptops like my ThinkPad here, uh, which has an SD card slot. Let's see this. Um, just built it in the laptop itself. 
So I have this on uh, my ThinkPad, but I also have a, a Surface Book, um, and it has a slot for that. And I think some of the older MacBooks used to have that. They don't have any expansion on them anymore. Um, <laughs> but basically what you could do is you can just pop this guy in there, um, and then it will just click in, um, and then you could do the install using your laptop. So for most people, that's probably how you'll do it. Um, if you're like me and you're going to be on a desktop system, which I'm using because this is where my camera is set up and I got my display and all that kind of stuff for the classes that I teach online, uh, you can get something like this, which is a USB SD card adapter. Uh, and then basically what you do is you just go plug in your SD card uh, into the USB adapter and then you can just go plug that into a USB port and do the install there. So that's, that's basically the hardware that we'll need. It's really, really minimal. The main thing is the SD card. And for a lot of you guys, it'll just be fine right out of the box because your laptop will have an SD card uh, slot. So now what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go jump over to my uh, uh, main sort of display. And I've got a, a program up there running. I'm going to go close that out. I'm going to cancel there. And um, basically, there's a, a couple pieces of software that you're going to want to install. So the first one is, is that we're going to go download a program called Belena Etcher. Um, so that's, let me go zoom in here. Uh, Belena, B-A-L-E-N-A, -E Etcher, E-T-C-H-E-R. Uh, and it's belena.io slash Etcher. I'll have that in the description of the, the video, the, the link for that. And then additionally, what you're going to want to go do is you're going to want to go to uh, either openplotter.org uh, or saleoog.com, right? Um, and if you go to saleoog.com, which is the Open Plotter website, uh, the openplotter.org should just redirect you over there. Uh, it's going to go take you to this page. And if you scroll down, you'll see a download Open Plotter 1.0. Um, and you can just go ahead and click on that. And uh, basically, it's going to have a couple different versions. This is the noobs version. We don't want that one. Uh, ba -ba. So go to open plotter, scroll all the way down to the bottom then click on the download link. And then we're going to go ahead and have the image that we want to go install. So noobs is sort of, a uh, don't worry about noobs. <laughs> it's, it's a different thing. It lets you run different versions of Linux and you can pick between them. We're going to go look at the, the image file. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click on, uh, download open plotter. Uh, and then that's going to go ahead and take us to another site where we can actually go download it from. Um, so this is going to have the link to the archive.org. Click on that and it will download the, the program. So I already have this downloaded. So I've got the open plotter uh, v1.0.0 image.zip. So it's just a zip file. And I have the Bologna Etcher setup uh, program. So the first thing that you want to go do is you just want to go ahead and install. Um, let me go change these to large icons. All right. So we got the open plotter uh, zip file. The font's still really tiny. Uh, we get the Blina Etcher setup program. So the first thing you want to go do is you just want to go run the setup program, which will install it. Uh, and then at the end of it, it will launch the Blina Etcher program. So I'm just going to go launch that manually from the start menu. And it's going to be very simple to get this running. So the first thing I'm going to go do is I'm going to go click on select image. And then what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go down to my downloads folder uh, or wherever you downloaded it to. Um, and then select the open plotter v1.0.0 uh, image.zip. And I'm going to go click on open. Next, I'm going to go ahead and click on select target. Uh, but before I do that, I need to go ahead and plug in my USB SD card adapter. So I'm going to go do that. And let me go move my monitor over here. And I've got a USB port. I can go plug this guy into. And can see the little sort of pop up there and you get a message saying like, say, you know, what you want to go do with these devices. You can just sort of close those out. And you may also see an error message like this saying, Hey, you need to go format the drive. You can go click cancel there and just ignore that. Uh, basically the idea is that the operating system that we're going to be installing on our raspberry Pi is going to be based on Linux. So windows doesn't understand how to read that file system, but we can write it. So we're going to go ahead and create that file system. So I'm going to go click on select target on my uh, particular machine. Um, I've got a USB one terabyte uh, external drive, which is the one that we see here first. And then the SD card that I'm using is a 32 gig uh, SD card, right? So I think that's probably a good size to use for 
uh, Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and then say continue. And if you weren't sure about what device it was, you can always just go unplug it and then plug it back in and it should update the list of devices. And then lastly, I'm going to go click on flash. And it's going to go give me a, a prompt asking if, you know, I need to go ahead and have the administrator permissions. Um, and <laughs> for whatever reason, the capture program goes a little bit crazy uh, when that uh, when it happens. So there we go, back again. So now it's, it's doing the flashing. It's about 3% done. Um, and it's saying that it's going to take about um, three minutes to go ahead and, and finish uh, with the um, install of that. So basically all that's going to happen is, is I'm going to go wait until that's done. I'm going to take the SD card out and I'm going to go plug it into the Raspberry Pi. And at that point, we finished our install um, or finished getting the image onto the, the SD card. So basically at that point, all we need to go do is set our system up. So I'll do that in another video. I probably won't post that to my main sort of tech channel, uh, but for the sailing channel, I'll have another series of videos on getting open plotter set up uh, in terms of its basic configuration. So uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys will come back and check out another video. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let this guy uh, run in the background and finish up. Uh, and then I'm going to go uh, get me open plotter set up. Uh, and you guys will have to come back uh, for that in another video. So uh, again, thanks so much for watching. Uh, for you guys on my main tech channel, sorry for not getting a video up on uh, on Sunday. I was a little bit under the weather. So I will have a, a regular scheduled video back on, on Sunday again uh, coming up this weekend. So have a great day and take care of yourselves.